hocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness, who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Hell, fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Um, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. The old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave.
You can try. That suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Huh, don't mention it. again.
things are moving right along. Defeating the forces of evil and all that. I think we pissed them off. That maybe? Interesting. This changed the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? You can't make it happen in the next ten seconds. I'm not interested. Interesting tactic. Tend to make this as miserable as possible for you, fair warning. Should just try throwing a big rock at him. Watch close. This won't end. Being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. I hope you're ready for this. Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. I'm guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not while you fail to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? What are the qualifications to be a Hydra officer? I had a guess a warm body, but I think Lilith solved that too.
lasso. Put up much of a fight yet. Shouldn't take long. Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Hydra lackeys. Position compromised. You're still not ready to give up. Who wants the honors? just keep showing up they are surprisingly relentless in any event we must provide one with the time she needs to activate the wave of protection was really something. Prepare yourself! I know that wasn't your signature move. Let's give it a go. Something. Someone. Gozer? Lilith. Mother of demons. Harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme! Be silent! Psycho. 
be still. What just happened? Ow! Be gone. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtu devi shanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. What? I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough! You're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. the 
voice of those who beseech the end. The caller! Wait! spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. The air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams it was always empty. Sense. I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer, I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes, I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire, unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, but I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A Dampir. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half-human, half-demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampir. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagor against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one.
Did I miss something? Or did Nico just raise the dead? I definitely helped, but no. That's the one thing I can't do. You were never able to raise the dead. Huh? But she just did. Maybe the hunter wasn't all dead. Some part of them had to be alive, otherwise my spell wouldn't have done anything. Which makes sense, I guess. Sounds like a reach to me. Huh, coming from a vampire who loves to sunbathe at the pool. Half vampire. Half dead hunter. Either way, wouldn't count on that working again. Yes, we know. Just trying to help. How? By keeping an eye on things out here while the big wigs decide the fate of the world inside? Someone has to babysit the kitty table. Babysitting or not, you realize they still have you out here with the kitties, right? Oof, ouch. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So... Welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. Abby is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. She's about to begin. She's already got plans for your first mission. Crazy day, huh? Crazy, indeed. Lots of new blood around here. Some seriously powerful headliners. Powerful, yes. But how powerful, we will see. Big personalities, too. I think you mean big egos. But none of that matters unless they can help us get to Wanda. Taking a big risk with the Chosen One. You act as if I'm thrilled with the situation. If you're concerned, then be all the more vigilant out there. Easy for you to say. Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah? Tell that to Wanda. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and slayers. Meh, sounds like something Doctor Strange would come up with. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe she's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted by Cathan's power. Whose power? Cathan, the Elder God. Is Cathan the Elder God of metal bands? Ugh, no. Tony, read your briefings. Relax, I'm just spinning him out. You think now's really the time for that? 
I nearly broke my hand on Lilith's face. She didn't even flinch. The more dangerous the foe, the funnier I get. That's debatable. You following me, Doc? Maybe you should go introduce yourself to the young'uns. I'm sure they know of the Sorcerer Supreme, and I wasn't following you. How long have you two been sharing a room now? A day? Oh, I don't know. What do you say, Doc? Six, seven hours? Six hours, 43 minutes, eight seconds. And counting. Wow. And you're already bouncing off each other like an old married couple. Careful now. You're gonna make his cape jealous. It's a cloak, not a cape. And it definitely wouldn't be jealous of you. I'm calling it now. You two are gonna be best friends before this thing is over. So that was Lilith, huh? She has a real 90s album cover vibe. 1690s, maybe. Hard to believe. I mean, technically, you were here first, but don't expect any special treatment. Caretaker will have you mopping the floors and hauling trash whether you're two or 200. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists, and... S no signs of muscle atrophy. You seem pretty healthy for a reanimated corpse. You sure you're not a time-traveling robot? Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I know I'm useless in the morning without a little boost. We could probably have one of these witches or warlocks magic you over a barista. Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I know I'm useless in the morning. It's almost impossible to imagine the horror, the atrocities committed on these grounds all those years ago. Then again, we are less than 20 miles from Fenway Park. Really? I give it about five minutes before Tony starts in with his ye old joke material. Sorry, Hunter. Never should have taken him to medieval times. It's almost impossible to... I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your awakening. But I doubt Lilith will leave her much of a choice. Unfortunately, time is of the essence. Otherwise, I'd gladly offer to walk you through some of the more pivotal events that have changed the world since you last saw it. I imagine Caretaker will have a hard time putting you at risk so soon after your... I, I wonder if you ever ran into any of my predecessors back in the day. We, um, uh, tend to stand out. With all these big names in here, maybe we should sell tickets. Ooh. Could finally upgrade the TV to 4K. I, I wonder if you ever ran. At least they don't have me stationed in some musty old dungeon like Strange and Stark. I too was recruited as a child into a calling of power and violence. So far, it has worked out well for me. At least they don't have me stationed in some. Mu I wish we could get you settled in. But things are already pretty hectic around here, kiddo. Starting to feel like the old days again. Which we both know is not a good thing. Your old room should be just as comfortable as it used to be. But if not, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for you. You know I wouldn't have woken you if it wasn't serious. We'll have time to catch up later. I kept your old room just the way you left it. You might see a few familiar faces around the Abbey, but mostly you'll find a lot of powerful strangers wondering just what they've gotten themselves into. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. You might see a few familiar faces around the Abbey, but mostly you'll find a lot of powerful strangers wondering just what they've gotten themselves into.
Fascinating. That is something. Interesting. Intriguing. What is this? Ah, I see. Is Cathan the Elder God of Metal Bands? Oh, no. Tony, read your briefings. Relax, I'm just spinning him up. You think now's really the time for that? I nearly broke my hand off my face. She didn't even flinch. The more dangerous the foe, the funnier I get. That's debatable. Welcome to the war room, Hunter.
This is which sign? This place was like a tomb. A nice quiet. Just remember, if it came down to it, your blood would make a mighty fine vintage. Let's see how long you stay above ground this time. If I were you, I'd probably be looking for a hot shower after spending 300 years in a tomb. Just remember, if it came down to it, your blood would make a mighty fine vintage. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is... hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Whoa, what kind of network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges, bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! It's our force, pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. Alco. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now.
With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. fluctuations in the astral spectrum I should be seeing something unless Bruce is right about gamma interference <laughs> if such a thing could even exist the wards have been activated before and I've never experienced such a reaction or perhaps I have simply erased that timeline so as not to affect my own destiny I am quite efficient with my future and past selves in that regard Yes, hello. Yes? You have problem? Yes? Guess I can put away the garlic. Won't do much good against Hydra. Even I need a little vitamin D. Caretaker's never exactly been bubbly, but the last couple of months, she's been in a real bad mood. Nobody knows exactly what it is you remember, so they'll probably want to hold your hand for a minute. Don't take it personally. This place is like a resort compared to some of the spots I've worked out of. Heroes have just gotten spoiled these days. Compared to New York, this place smells like paradise. It's like we're living in an environmental time machine out here. It's almost too clean. Even I need a little vitamin D. Still smells like Transia, even after all these years. You always did love the grounds. Sometimes it was hard to get you back inside. It's still a pristine example of our homeland. A Transia that no longer exists today. It still smells like Transia, even after all these years. prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Blaze storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels... different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. Knowing how selective the sons can be, I'm honored to have been given this opportunity to join them. Is there an official oath of some sort I should be taking, or is it just black leather and gruff attitudes? Now that I'm a member of the Suns, maybe I can convince Blade to tell me where he buys his sunglasses. <laughs> 